Hi there, thanks for joining me. I am talking about lighting today, more specifically the difference between a T5 tube light and a T8 tube light. Maybe that just sounds like numbers to you, T5 or T8, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to explain. This is a T8 and this is a T5, there we go. Um, basically, the difference is twofold. One, the, the size, the thickness. So, a T8 bulb, quite thick, quite fat there. Uh, I think it's about an inch in diameter. Uh, T5, a lot thinner. So, you can definitely tell the difference quite easily. Um, so, size is one factor. The second factor is basically um, power output. So, this particular tube here is 14 watts. Um, this one I think is around mm, 8 watts. I think that's what it says there, 8 watts. So, um, if you were to make the T8 a relative size, this probably would be a lot less than 8 watts. Um, so basically, a T5 is a lot thinner and can have a higher output of wattage for that size. Again, if you made this tube the same length as this tube, it would most likely be more than 14 watts. Um, so that's the main benefit really, that in a smaller tube you can get more power, which is great. Uh, it's not just the size of the lights that varies when it comes to these two tubes. Um, it's the amount of power that you get for your watts. So what I mean by that is if you made both of these lights 14 watts for instance you'd get roughly twice the intensity of light out of the T5 than you would from the T8. So um, as far as output is concerned you're always going to get more from a T5 than a T8, even if the wattages are the same. Um, so, in physical terms, that means you'd basically need two T8 bulbs to match one T5 bulb. Um, in cost-wise, I mean, replacing T8 bulbs, you're going to be paying almost twice the amount. So, in the long term, economically, um, and energy efficiency, T5s are actually better than the T8s. So with that in mind, um, what's the applications of the two tubes? For T8s, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're perfectly usable lights, and you'll get them generally with most new aquariums. You'll get a hood, and it'll have one of these T8 bulbs in there. It'll be something like a Day Glow one or something like that. This one is an Aqua Glow, it says there. And they're fine, they illuminate your aquarium, um, they'll give you a decent brightness of light, a decent colour of light, no problems. Um, the issue with lighting comes when you want to start putting plants in your aquarium. Um, you need to have a good output of light, because plants obviously do like their sunlight, um, so they're going to need an equivalent amount of power in your aquarium. And that's where the T8 bowl falls short, is they just don't quite cut it for plants. You can get some pretty big T8s um, and in that situation when you've got like two or three or more massive T8s over your aquarium then fine yeah uh, that'll work for plants but in the average aquarium less than a hundred litres you will struggle with um, a T8 bulb for plants. That's where you start to use T5s. Um, generally they are twice the power output of a T8, um, especially if you use the high output T5s, and obviously being smaller you can probably fit more of them over the same size aquarium. They will give you more light penetration, um, which is nice, and because you can use more of them and fit more in there you'll get a nice brighter saturation of colour as well. Um, the only problem with the T5s is they don't generally come as standard over an aquarium, so if you want to use them, you generally have to make a custom rig for that over your tank. But, if you're going to go for plants, 
uh, you either go for T5s or you go for LEDs like those. But that's a second discussion. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's been a help. And thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.